Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tyler here bringing you some more Madden 24 gameplay. That is right. Today we have episode number 9 of my wide receiver superstar mode, man. Starring Tony Foster. So man, these last couple episodes, things have been heating up. We are absolutely eating up on the stat sheet. Just racking up a ton of yards each game, man. And we were able to get two wins in the last episode. So hopefully we are able to keep those winning ways going. And, you know, maybe we, you know, fight to get in the playoffs here. The Vikings are, of course, leading our division, man. Uh, they only have one loss still. So not sure we'll be able to win the division. But either way, could fight for a wild card spot. Man, we're 5-4 and four at the moment. And we'll head into week 11 here with the matchup against the los angeles chargers man so it should be a good one i'm gonna go ahead and you know run through these drills and activities per usual and you know, i'll catch up for game day and let you know my boosts and whatnot one thing i will say real quick during this drill is this is the one i've been doing every week lately i was switching it up a lot and i actually was doing like the same one every time like basically the one that was the easiest and then i figured out which one i should be doing this drill is the one that helps you get better uh, release so i think i'll get like plus five release if i get gold which i pretty much do every time um but yeah the three drills you have for wide receiver are you can either do it's like either a catching boost, catching traffic boost, or this release boost, which I think the release boost is the best one, or it's, you know, been the most impactful for me in these games. Like, ever since I started doing that one a few weeks ago, I've done it every week since, man, and I don't know, I swear it, like, helps me a lot get separation and whatnot in that secondary. So, yeah, man, you see here we already got gold, it's pretty easy, you know, once you do these drills a few times, you pretty much know kind of like what you got to do to just do them successfully, whether you got to cheese them or whatnot. But yeah, man, just wanted to, you know, kind of touch on some things here, especially, you know, if there's any viewers out there that are running a wide receiver superstar mode, man, definitely utilize this drill every week to give you that um, release boost. Because I'm telling you, I, ever since I started doing this drill, getting that release boost each week, I mean, you guys have seen it. You've seen it. We're dropping 150 plus yards a game. Even had one game at 200. So, yeah, man. Just wanted to, you know, touch on some things here in the drills. And, yeah, man, there it is. Gold, easy. Don't even got to try at this point. I'm so used to it. But, yeah, man, definitely get that release boost if you're playing receiver. Yo, what's good, Cap? Listen, I've been seeing what you've been doing out in the community, and since you've been out there, it sounds to me like the cheers are getting even louder. I see you and all those Packers fans do too. Just following the example that you and so many guys in the league set. Yeah, buddy. Coach Prime reaching out, man. You know, we keep on, you know, doing some community work and whatnot with some of our teammates, try to, you know, build that team bonding. We get, you know, Team XP points, so it's nice to see Coach Prime seeing us, reaching out, letting us know. Remember, Prime Time was there with us at the draft, man, so it's nice to see him reach back out. Also, before the game, we got to throw on the Oakley Prism Jade Visor, man. This thing is fire. We, of course, earned it, uh, you know, getting that nice brand deal with Oakley and completing some challenges. So yeah, we'll throw that on. We did earn this Nike mouthpiece as well through that brand deal, but I'm not going to throw it on, man. The orange just throws everything off. Of course, you can't see this, but you know we earned this Nike kickoff blue backplate. So we'll throw that on as well. You know, we got to, you know, use our brands, man. We're getting these deals, so we got to rock their stuff. Here we go, man. Week 11, the 5-4 and four Packers and Tony Foster play host to the 3-6 and six Chargers. Very surprised to see that they are 3-6 and six this year, man. We're going to have plus 5 release, plus 4 catching, and plus 3 stamina going into this game. 
Again, I wish it would show all the boosts because I know I have more than that. You know, we got pluses to our stamina and a few other things, awareness. But, you know, that's the highest three that we got. Either way, man, some solid boosts heading into this game. Let's get it. It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And all eyes are on the Packers. Sure-handed wide receiver. No one's been busier this season as he currently paces the NFL in receptions. Get going. Winners are two Alrighty. Defense makes a stop on the Chargers' first drive. We come out and start from our 20. Here we go. First and 10 on our first drive here. It's going to be a handoff left side to A.J. Dillon. He's going to fall ahead for four. Just a reminder, Aaron Jones did get hurt a couple weeks ago, as you see. The update here, he'll be back in a couple weeks. Alrighty, in the shotgun here for second down. Over the middle. And we're going to make that catch. Ooh, just short of the marker, man. Gain of five. Another third down here. We'll see if we can move these chains. Going short, and we make that catch, but we're short. We didn't reach the marker. Oh, man. We're going to punt or go for it? Oh, looks like we're going to punt, man. That is an unfortunate end to the drive there. Starting our next drive from our own five-yard line, man. See if we can get some space here. Going to Dylan on first down, and there we go. He's going to fall forward. Gain of about 10. Let's go, man. All right, a minute to go here in this first quarter. We got a second and 14. We're going deep left side, and he throws it way out of bounds, bro. Come on, Teddy. All right, man, third and long. Can we keep this drive going? Over the middle, and we make the catch. Let's go. Out across the 40, moving the chains, big play. First play of the second quarter here. Second and nine. Oh, he's going deep to Reed and he connects. And Reed is gonna break away. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown Packers, we strike first. Taking the lead to start this second quarter, man. Teddy Bridgewater finds Jaden Reed on the fly. He heads up the seam, man. He had a step, and Teddy delivers. After a fairly uneventful first quarter, that last play, that'll make a few highlight clips. It certainly will. Snow, and yeah, I gotta say, if it's gonna be this cold... Alrighty, second snow. down. Over deep, wide open, and what do you know? It's overthrown once again. I don't understand what it is with Teddy, man. He overthrows us all the time. But he hit Jaden Reed in perfect stride last drive. Come on, bro. Man, that is tough. Third down. He scrambles left side. I don't know what's going on, but he's making some room, and he got the job done. Teddy, 12 yards on the scramble, moving the chain. Alrighty, man, third and long now. Hopefully the O-line gives Teddy a little bit more time to throw on this play. Oh, we're wide open! And he overthrows us again. Yo. That's way too many overthrows here in the first half. Alright, man, third and one. Coming out of that two-minute warning. Gotta keep this drive alive here. AJ Dillon left side. Ooh, we... Pancake a guy, pick up another block, and A.J. Dillon into the open field, into Charger territory. Let's go, man. Big play. Fresh set of downs after the big run from A.J. Dillon. We got that bunch set on the left side this time. Oh, he's going to go that way, and it's Moe Cox making the catch. Let's go. Moving the chains once again. The offense is keeping it going. All right, man, third and 10. A minute 18 to go in the half. Oh, he's gonna go right side. He's got Reed once again, and they connect. Jaden Reed, second touchdown of the day. Let's go, man. We take the lead right before the half. Love to see it. Pretty solid game so far. 14-7 lead at the half. Teddy has overthrown us a couple times, but other than that, happy to be in the lead. 
Alrighty, we're going to start the second half with the ball. First down here. He's going to go short. It's Watson making the catch. Let's go. Nice gain of about 11. And Teddy Beck under center here. It's going to be a handoff right side. A.J. Dillon had a good first half. And there we go. His first carry of the second half is a big one. All the way into the red zone. And tackled at the 12. That's A.J. Dillon's 10th carry of the day. And it puts him over 100 yards. 120 total. He's going off. I mean, just check it out, man. That is a big man. And once he gets into the open field, he gets them wheels moving, man. All right, man. Second and six here. But we're going over the middle. We make that catch, and we go down. Oh, just shy of the marker, man. It's going to be third and inches. All right, man. I feel like everybody on the field knows what's coming here. We just need a few inches. So let's hand it off. A.J. Dillon up the middle, and he's stuffed. No, I tried to trigger no huddle. I wanted to go for it, and they didn't let me. There's no way anyone's kicking this field goal. I tried to go no huddle. They didn't let me. We're really kicking a field goal on fourth and inches from the three. Wow. Okay, um... Maybe we did go for it because we scored a touchdown. Maybe they just took us off the field because they were, like, going goal line and they didn't want to give me the option to make the choice. I don't know. Uh, but either way, we'll take it, man. 21-7 lead. Let's go. All right, man. We're into the fourth quarter. Still holding a 21-7 lead. Got a second and nine here. Play action. Oh, he's going deep over the middle. And what a play. Derwin James dives forward middle of the field to make that pick. Pass intended for Christian Watson. I thought I was open. And Teddy goes to Watson instead. And Derwin James, man, just flies in with a diving interception. What a play. All righty, we got a third and seven. Big play here. Got to try to keep this drive going. And we're going to be open. We make the catch. Let's go. Trying to stay in bounds, we do just that, keeping that clock rolling, and we move the chains. It's been kind of a quiet day, man, for Tony, based on what we've seen the last few weeks. I mean, still, five catches for 54 yards is very solid. We're going to see Watson go in motion here. They're actually going to hit him on, like, a little sweep, and oh, no. Watson is injured, man. No gain on the play. And he's going to head to the locker room. That is definitely not a good sign. So not only is Watson out with that injury, that was an injury timeout. So the clock stopped on a run play. Definitely not good. We get it moving again, but A.J. Dillon unable to get anything going there. Brings up yet another third down. We'll let this clock wind. It'll be the last play before the two-minute warning. And we're open. Oh, and what do you know? Overthrown again for what, the fifth, sixth time today? I don't understand. We've looked great the last few weeks, and today we're just not on the same page. Luckily, we're still in the lead. <laughs> still a couple timeouts left here for the Chargers, so things could get interesting. But A.J. Dillon has other plans as he's fighting ahead. Nice gain. Third and four coming up. All right, third and four. We'll see if Dillon can secure this victory. Just run out those last five seconds. He gets the handoff, and ooh, that's too quick. All right. The coach actually is smart here. The coach knows what to do. They know to run a play and not punt it. See, now I would just do a QB kneel here, but they might do it in like one second in the game. I'm not sure. Because in real life, you would just snap it and take a couple steps, you know, make sure that clock is all zeros. But in the game, they might do it too quickly. So we go ahead right there, run out that time, and there we go, baby. 21-14, Green Bay Packers. Get another victory in front of the home crowd. Love to see it. 
Solid day. Five catches, 54 yards. You know, we'll take it. It's just not like what we were used to, man. Tony Foster had been going off these last few weeks. You know, this you know game, you know, maybe bring us back down to earth a little bit. You know, that's okay. We still get the victory. Still a solid day for us. We'll take it. I'm just happy we got the victory. 21-14, we improve to 6-4 and four on the year. Complete that mission for the week. You know, five yards after the catch averaging. You know, that's a pretty solid one. It's not too hard. It's always nice to hit those game day missions, though, or any sort of mission or objective, you know, that gives you some sort of reward, whether it's some XP or some gear. You know, it's cool, man. It's a lot of different ways to earn things here in this mode, so I like that a lot, man. For this next week, we have a new mission of 60 plus yards after the catch, so that's just total. That's a, you know, quite a bit of yak, man. So, you know, maybe we'll hit some drag routes or some short curls and see if we can, you know, make some defenders miss in the open field and, you know, hit that mission, man. But yeah, we'll go ahead and move on to week 12. That's right. We are in a Thanksgiving Day game as we will be heading to Detroit to take on our NFC North rival, the Detroit Lions. Earlier this year, man, we struggled against them. They were actually winless heading into our matchup, and they came to Green Bay and beat us. So now it's time for us to get our revenge. We'll head to Detroit for Thanksgiving, and we're going to feast on their home field. Let's go. We'll have plus five release, plus two agility, plus two awareness. Thanksgiving Day kickoff, man. 6-4 Green Bay Packers head to Detroit to get their revenge against the 3-7 and seven Lions. Essentially the full we'll pick things up here with under two and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Man, not much has been going on. Neither offense able to get much going here. As we hand off to Dylan, and he gets a nice carry out to the left side, man. Picking up about 11. All right, let's see if we can keep it moving here. Running an in route. Ooh, he hits us. And it's in our hands, and we hold on. Let's go. Through the contact. First down. Tony's first catch of the day. All right, big third down here. We need nine. Over the middle. We're open, and we're going to make that catch. Let's go. Making sure we secure it. Moving the chains into lion territory. Into the second quarter, man, we have a third and six here. He's going to go to Reed, and he makes that catch. Moving the chains. Let's go. Keeping the drive alive. Second and nine here. Oh, he goes to us quickly. Oh, we make that catch. And we move the chains there, picking up about 10 or 11. See if we can keep it moving here. On the out route. Ooh, and we make that catch. Nice gain of six. We are faced with yet another third down here, man. We need seven. Oh, he's going to scramble up the middle. He has space, and we pick up a block. He's fighting down to the one. Teddy Bridgewater scrambling, making plays. Let's go. They're going to take us off the field here, man, bringing out the goal line unit. So hopefully the boys are able to punch it in. Yes, sir. A.J. Dillon punches it in. And we take the lead, man. 7-0. Let's go. Fresh set of downs here from the 40. We were open right side. We make that catch. There we go. Nice gain of 8. We are approaching the 2 minute warning here. Oh, he goes quickly over the middle, and that's Moelle Cox picking up six. And that'll take us to that two-minute warning. Alrighty, fresh out of the two-minute warning. We have a second and four. I'm open over the middle. He gets it out late to read. Nice catch. Moving the chains up to the 25. Alrighty, we got a second and ten here. We go quickly over the middle, and we're going to make that catch in traffic just shy of the marker, picking up nine. Third and short. Let's see what we do here. He goes quickly. Reed makes the catch. 
and we keep that drive going. We're actually going to go hurry up here, see if we can catch him off guard, maybe. My X Factor has been enabled. We're going quickly over the middle. We make the catch. Oh, no, we go down. We call a timeout here, man. Let's get a different formation out there. All right, man, second and five. 41 seconds to go in the half. He's going to scramble right side. Wide open lane. Teddy Bridgewater, touchdown. Let's go. We take that lead back before we hit halftime. Nice play. Teddy scrambles right side, and it was free, man. Absolutely no defenders home, and he walks in. Touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job. Start the second half with the ball. We do have a second and 12 here. Oh, we beat him. We're going to make that catch. We're off to the races. Tony Foster is going to be caught. Yes, he is. Huge play all the way to the line 27. Let's go. We go over 100 yards on the day. We beat him off the press there, and Teddy saw us, and this time, he doesn't overthrow us like he did 20 times last week. All right, man, after the huge play, we'll hand it off to A.J. Dillon here up the middle. Nice game, picking up eight. We're going to go right back to Dillon. He even makes the move left side. Let's go. Moving the chains up to the 12. All right, man, let's see if we can punch this in. Over the middle, we're open, we make the catch, and we're gonna fight up to the two, and we move the chains. Let's go. Ninth catch of the game. Oh, they take us off the field here, man. Goal line unit is out on the field. See if they can punch it in to finish this drive. AJ Dillon punches it in, man. His second touchdown of the day, and we go up 21 to seven. All right, man, second and six. Ooh, and he is pressured. The sack from Anzalone, man. That'll bring up a third and long. See if we can make something happen here on third and 13. We're open on the corner, and we're going to make that catch. Let's go. Teddy hits us. We move the chains. Tenth catch of the game. Alrighty, man, we are into the fourth quarter here. Faced with a third down. We need seven. He's going to go right side into the end zone. That's Reed going up. Unable to make the catch. And Josh Myers is hurt. One of our linemen, man. Hopefully he's all right, man, because there's a lot of times where Teddy gets pressured. And if we get the backups in there, he might be getting rushed a lot more often. So we were able to tack on a field goal to end that last drive, and the Lions answered that. So we're still up 24 to 10 here. Alrighty, man. Second and 10 here. We're going to hit the out route, and we make that catch. Tackled immediately, but nice gain of six. And what do you know? Another O lineman goes down. John Runyon hurt. Man. We cannot be losing all these guys. Third and four. See if we can keep this drive alive, man. Ooh, nobody open there, and he's going to get sacked. McNeil's second of the day. We're going to have to punt. All righty, man, first and ten here. After the Lions scored a touchdown on that last drive, man, so they make it a game, man. We actually got to get something moving here. We're going to hit the two-minute warning, man, but... Yeah, man, we, we got to get moving. They are clawing their way back into this thing. All right, man, big third down play. We're going to throw here, and he's going to find Moelle Cox wide open. Let's go. Moving. The, oh, no, he fumbles, and the Lions recover. Oh, no. It was such a big play, man. Big Mo, just go down next time. Oh, what a hit. Courtney Gardner-Johnson comes in and cleans that up, jarring that ball loose. The Lions fall on it immediately. 
Looks like Tracy Walker on the recovery man, and oh no, the Lions are back on the field just like that, only down by a touchdown. I was starting this drive with a penalty, not good, and then Jamison for 27. Six yards for Montgomery from the two, and they're into the end zone, and the Lions tie things up here with a minute to go in the game. Oh man, we gotta drive down. We still have all three timeouts. We gotta go score. We gotta go win this thing, man. All right, man. Let's see if we can put on a drive here. Teddy Bridgewater. Pick six on the first play of the drive. Are you kidding me? We were up easy in this game. Jordan Lewis, the hometown guy from Detroit, played college ball at Michigan, was with the Cowboys for a bit. Now with the Lions here, gets the pick six to give them the lead after, I mean, early in that third quarter, it looked like we were going to run away with this thing. Teddy just threw it right to him. All right, man, a minute on the clock, all three timeouts. Come on. He's going to go short to Mo Alley Cox, and he catches it. We got to hurry up. Shouldn't have caught that, buddy. Oh, man, we got to hurry up. We got to get moving. We got to get moving here. We're hitting the out route. We're open, and that's going to be too far to the sideline. Teddy misses us. That would have been big. All right, man, third and seven. We've overcame plenty of third downs. None bigger than this, though. He's going to try to scramble to get there, and he's short, man. A yard shy. We got to call a timeout. Fourth and one, man, to stay alive. He's going to go to Reed, and he makes the catch. All right, man, we were just called timeout there. We have one remaining, 15 seconds on the clock. Man, this is this is tough. We, we still have some yardage to get. All right, man, 15 seconds. We're going to the sideline. We go up. Ooh, we make the catch, but we're in bounds. We're going to have to call the timeout. We have to. We're going to have a couple shots at the end zone here. Let's go back to look at that catch real quick, though, man. Even with how this game has turned, what an amazing catch. As Tony pins it to his leg, goes up, makes the play, pins it to his leg, man, to hold on. Wow. What a play. Tony doing everything he can to try to keep us in this game. First and ten here. All right, man. Time to take a shot. Seven seconds to go. No timeouts. Oh, we're open. And he overthrows us. Oh, my gosh. Teddy, we had him. Final play. Of the game. Has to get to the end zone. He throws it right away. Why? It's a pick. Teddy throws it right away. I don't even think he was pressured yet. Ah, oh, man. That sucks. We were so close to play before that, man. He just overthrew us a hair. And the Detroit Lions pull off a miraculous comeback at home on Thanksgiving Day. We were up big time, man, and they came storming back. The pick six late from Teddy Bridgewater gives the Lions their first lead of the game. And they win. Our win streak ends. And that's tough, man, because we should have had this one, man. 
Still a big game from Tony nonetheless. All right, man. Remember, last time we had a skill point, we decided to save it so we could have two because now uh, to upgrade short route running, medium route running, or spectacular catch or catching, we now have to use two skill points to increase those. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tack it on to my medium route running. Because it seems like I run a lot of medium routes, whether it's, you know, corner route and in. We're going to go ahead and tack it on there. And that will move us up from a 77 overall to a 78 now. We get that medium route running up to 87, man. So looking pretty good there. We finished with 12 catches, 167 yards. No touchdowns, man. Did not get in the end zone today, which is quite surprising. But either way, a couple solid games. We win the first one against the Chargers. It was solid, man. And then we go off against the Lions on Turkey Day. But in a losing effort, man. Just too many mistakes in that second half. We allowed them to claw back. Mission for next week will be to complete 13 catches, man. So... We've had this one before. It's a tough one, man. I mean, 13 catches in one game is a lot. And, like, I like keeping the run game involved. I don't like always calling for the pass. And sometimes it's not the right call. It might get picked off. Not always open. So, I'll try to get there. I think we had 12. Yeah, we had 12 last week. So, I mean, hey, we can get it done. Just wanted a quick update here on the injury report. Both old linemen. That were her last game. I believe Josh Myers and John Runyon are both fine, man. I think they both came back in that game and are good to go. Also, Aaron Jones, big news. Aaron Jones will be back next week, his first game back from injury. So that'll be huge, being able to have both him and Dylan. Definitely going to be focusing on making sure we rotate both of those guys in there. And, yeah, just left with Devontae Wyatt right now, one of our backup ends. Still uh, definitely would like to see him back out there, man. Solid young player there on the defensive side. I yeah, just wanted to give a quick little injury update there. But we'll go ahead and wrap things up, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. This has been episode 9 of my wide receiver superstar mode here in Madden 24 starring Tony Foster. If you enjoyed, man, slap that like button for me. I appreciate it a lot. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. Comment your thoughts below, man. If there's anything that I haven't been shown from this mode that you'd like to see, you know, just let me know in the comments. And also, if you could follow my Twitter, link is in the description, man. It's in the description of every video, man. Just go make sure you follow me over there for any updates on future videos coming soon, man, and whatnot. But yeah, it's TMillyRockYT. Well, I guess it's not Twitter. It's X, but it'll always be Twitter to me, man. The link is in the description. Go follow me there. Also, man, uh, might be a couple days without a video, man. Uh, I think actually the day this is being uploaded, I'm actually going to be at a wedding, man. So it's going to be a long day and going to be like a day behind on videos. But either way, should still be able to get a few up next week. And yeah, man, stay tuned for that episode two of the Falcons franchise, man. If you missed the team reveal, man, there, you know, I just told you it's the Falcons, man. I uploaded that a couple days ago. So appreciate the support there as well, man. Franchise coming soon, man. You'll see my Falcons in week one action in the next few days. But yeah, man, that's going to do it. Thanks again. Have a nice day. Peace.